Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training's LBO Leverage Buyout Overview course. Please note that these materials are copyrighted and may not be disseminated or reproduced for any reason without express written consent from Wall Street Training. Wall Street Training provides financial modeling, valuation modeling, mergers and acquisitions, merger and leverage buyout modeling, training to corporations, as well as through public open enrollment seminars and self-study video-based learning. My name is Hamilton Lin, President and Founder of Wall Street Training, and I will be your instructor throughout this course. My background is primarily in investment banking and mergers and acquisitions. Having worked at Goldman Sachs' Investment Banking Research, Bank of America Securities' Mergers and Acquisitions Group, and several other smaller boutique investment banks, again all focused on mergers and acquisitions. Personally, I have executed a fair amount of LBO transactions, ranging from as small as $10 million to over $6 million. I am a CFA charter holder as well as a CFA instructor. The goals of this course is to provide a basic overview and introduction to leveraged buyouts, including a discussion and rationale of going private, the ideal LBO candidate, as well as drivers of value. We will also discuss the following items, including a description, importance, and implications of various items such as valuation, debt capacity, scenario analysis, sources and uses of funds, role of equity, and capital structure. We will also spend a little bit of time focusing on purchase accounting versus recap accounting, goodwill treatment, and other issues. You will be able to gain a fundamental knowledge required to understand leverage transactions after you are done with this basic overview. To hone the concepts learned on this module, please be sure to follow up this course with our quick and dirty basic leverage buyout modeling and of course our complex leverage buyout modeling course. This does currently assume that you have a basic understanding of accounting, fundamental concepts in finance and valuation, and we highly recommend prerequisites to this course include our accounting and financial statements integration, our finance 101, and our corporate valuation courses at a bare minimum. Let's now turn our attention to the very first slide. What is a leveraged buyout? A leveraged buyout can be thought of through the following analogy. Leveraged buyout is simply using debt to buy something out, hence the word leverage and buyout. Now, you can akin this to the following analogy. Let's say you are buying a real estate property. Let's say you're buying a real estate property and the current owners of this property, let's say, currently have an 80% equity stake and they have yet to pay off the remaining 20% of the mortgage. You come in here and you borrow a massive amount of debt and you put down, let's say, anywhere between 10 to 20% to purchase this property and you put down and you borrow anywhere between 80 to 90 percent. This is the leveraged buyout portion. Then you will use the internally generated cash flows. Key is the internally generated cash flows to pay down the debt and build equity. Build equity such that by the time you are done, your equity stake, not that this is drawn to scale, but pretend that there is no appreciation in the actual asset but you will be able to build your equity up to the point using the internal cash flows generated to pay down the debt. And this allows you to now own a greater percentage of the company upon an exit or upon a sale. This is considered typically a financial transaction and usually sets the floor or the minimum valuation. Why is that? Because if a strategic buyer comes in, in theory, this is in theory now, they can also do the same thing and extract additional value if they're able to actually also provide economies of scale or cost savings or whatnot. Typically now, who is the private equity firm that is coming in? This is the person who is actually supplying the core capital, the equity base. Now, what is private equity? Think about private equities opposite the public equity markets. What's the public equity market? That's simply the capital markets, the stock exchange, etc. So therefore, the private equity markets are basically sources of capital, sources of equity that are from private sources as opposed to the public, in general, John Doe, investor, etc. Now, let's flip to the next slide. Leverage files basically provide a current market view of the range of hypothetical purchase prices by a third party financial buyer. This is typically contingent upon several items. You must have an acceptable capital structure. You must have the right interest rate and return requirements for both the equity and the debt. We'll talk more about this a little bit. And also refinancing terms and whatnot. Typically speaking, and of course these targets would continuously change, especially as you meet different, uh, different uh, market 
trends in the current uh, LBO cycle, but typically speaking, private equity firms like to generate at least a return of 25 to 30%.